Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, welcome to the Halal Cooking Show with your host, Chef Yusuf. Thank you, thank you, Jazakumullah khair. Thank you very much and welcome to the Chef Yusuf Show where we learn to cook the Islamic way. I do congratulate everyone. Yes, thank you, Jazakumullah khair. I do congratulate everyone who survived to see yet another month of the holy month of Ramadan, the month of fasting. How do we know that it is the month of fasting? Do we observe the moon? Do we do the crazy calculations? Well, I think this year we should unite the Ummah and vote for an Imam or a Khalifa so he can decide that tomorrow is Ramadan and knock these silly arguments off. So I do thank you. I'm happy to see you. We're going to dedicate this month to talk about soup. Now, what a better way than a chef can express his art through better than soup. Soup used to be known back in Arabia a thousand years ago uh, with al tharid al tharid used to be the national dish of Arabia at that time. Uh, the Prophet ﷺ favored that meal over other meal. In fact, he compared it to his wife Aisha. In a hadith by Anas ibn Malik, he reported that the Prophet ﷺ said, the superiority of Aisha over other women is like the superiority of al tharid over other meals. There is an, a lot of wisdoms to learn about why did the Prophet ﷺ prefer this meal. But we do want you to stay with us throughout this series. We're going to learn a lot of fundamentals in the culinary arts. We're going to learn about the stock fundamentals, the base of the soup. We're going to learn about you know, the thickening agents. We're going to have some interesting interviews with various scholars. We're going to talk about uh, the book of Ibn al-Qayyim, Al-Tubb al-Nabawi, the medicine of the Prophet, when it comes to the certain ingredients that we're going to work with. And we're going to go all over the world with different types of soups, with different uh, cultures and tastes. So, I am happy to see you. I'm excited about this uh, series in this Ramadan. Inshallah, let's go ahead and get started. And we'll be back. Ramadan. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome back. Before we learn anything about soup, we have to learn the fundamental of stock because it doesn't make sense to learn about uh, soup before we learn how to make the flavorful liquid that goes into the soup. So the, 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 the stock is the base or the foundation uh, for any soup or any sauce. And a good stock will result in a good soup and a good sauce. Now the word found is actually the French term for stock which is the foundation. So today we're going to go through uh, a step by step. If we learn how to make a good stock, we will learn how to make a good broth. We will learn how to make a, a soup or a, or a sauce. And I will refer this episode every time to learn about stock. It's very important. And this today's episode, I do apologize, but this is going to be a lecture type episode. All right. So let's go ahead, inshallah, and, and get started. Of course, we need water. How much water? As much as you need to fill a little, you know, a large spot that you got. Of course, you need something that is narrower. The narrower, it's better because you will have you'll have centralized heat, and it, not a lot of evaporation. So if you have something thinner than this and maybe taller, maybe I'll use maybe something like this. So we'll go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and add the water. And it is important to use cold water. So really, making stock is very simple. And uh, just a few things that you have to remember. Number one is use cold water. Do not use boiling water. Because what boiling water will, will does, it will lock in the flavors you know, with the bone. If you use cold water, it will allow the collagens, they call them collagens, to escape and, and you know, get the flavor out. Number two is we want to make this uh, spices, herbs to a minimum. Sage, uh, some herbs, some... Uh, bay leaves, some garlic, some uh, corn pepper, maripoire, of course, and some onions. Now, there's something cool about uh, making stock. Honestly, this is one of the most interesting things in the kitchen. Why? Because it doesn't cost anything. In fact, if somebody said, I can't afford to make stock, it will, it, it will sound strange because really what stock is, is basically everything that you don't need in the kitchen, that when you're cooking, you dump them in cold water, and you will make a flavorful liquid. For example, you have fish, you fillet the fish, and you take all of these bones and heads and the tail of the fish, you put them in water, and you, and you add these minimum ingredients to extract the flavor, right? And the same thing when we cook, like for example, the, the celery I'm using, I'm using the top, you know, the tops of the celery. Usually these things, we will throw them and we want to use them. And same thing with the carrots. We, you know, the top of the carrot, when you are chopping carrots, you cut the top of the carrot and you throw it away. No, that actually goes in the, into the soup. And the same thing with an onion. You know, you can, you know, when we make 
you know, stock or, or, or broth from scratch, we'll use the whole onion. But technically, you know, you, when you're cooking, you cut the top of the onion and the bottom of the onion. And this is what you need to, you know, this is technically what you add uh, in your broth. You add all of these things that, you know, you're not going to use in your ingredients, right? So I'm using some onions and some uh, garlics, maybe three cloves of garlics. Some corn pepper, the black peppers, uh, the whole pepper, maybe 10, 7 to 10 pieces. And we're going to put the herbs to a minimum, as we said. And we're going to make sure it is cold water. That is very important. And we're going to put go ahead and add some heat on it. So this will boil. And we don't want it to boil. We want it to simmer, of course. So really, this is it. And I'm going to make white stock. White stock, we make it from fish or from chicken. Um, and there is also vegetable stock. Uh, oh, today I'm going to also show you how to make brown stock, but this is only for white stock. We'll start with cold liquid and we add the bones. Now these are the bones of the chicken. It doesn't have any, it has a little bit of meat on it. You can, uh, you can add the chicken with meat and usually, you know, remember how I said you cut the onion and use the tip. Same thing with the chicken, you know, you cut the chicken and you fillet, you take the meat, you take the breast. And what you're going to do with the backbone, what you're going to do with all of these bones, usually we throw them off uh, and making the stock is a good way to preserve all of that and, and, and extract the liquid out of them. So I'll go ahead and add them, add my bones and get this to a simmer. In the meantime, I'm going to show you how to make brown stock. Now the brown difference between white stock and brown stock for white stock, we said we use what? chicken and fish for brown stock you can use chicken and fish but that will be really weird so we use you know veal bones or cow bones or sheep or something that is other than chicken and what we want to do is we want to caramelize them we want to make them brown we want to put them in an oven and make them caramelized and then when we add them in cold water this is where the brown color comes from so i have some veal bones right here actually you can buy this from the halal meat store, they will sell it. They will sell bones, believe it or not. So I'm gonna put this in an oven, in a broil, make sure to get them caramelized. And as you can see, they are browned. And this is the difference between brown stock and white stock. We get the brown color from the caramelization process. On the other hand, we have white stock where we just put the bones raw as they are. So I'm gonna add another pot over here with some water. And what was the rule? Of course, we're going to use cold water, of course. So I'm going to go ahead and add my bones. We'll add the bones in the cold water. I'm going to add some of our Meripois ingredients. Remember again, our rules, minimum herbs minimum flavors, a little bit of garlic, just a little bit of peppercorn, and the carrots, of course. So we'll bring both of them to boil, and I'll show you, you know, the difference between white stock and brown stock. Now, there is also, I want to tell you the difference about the broth and the stock. So let's go ahead and spend some time explaining. A stock is like a jello, as you'll see at the end product. It will become like a jello. You cannot pure it from the can. If you bought a can that says stock and you can pure it, it's not really stock. It's something else. Do I recommend using the, the stock that you buy from the carton or from the can? Of course I do, especially in the month of Ramadan. The month of Ramadan is the month of shortcuts when it comes to food. You know, this is not the month where we allow our women to spend all day and do an i'tikaf in the kitchen. No. So I do, yes, of course, if you have a stock from the, from the bottle, from the can, I would do recommend it very much. You can make uh, broth out of stock. You can add some liquid on the stock. We'll make, you know, thin it out. It becomes broth. Now, the, the really interesting thing about broth and stock, the stock, when you taste it, it, it's like an explosion in your mouth. It's like, wow, subhanAllah, so much flavor. Broth tend to have less of that. So, so stock when you taste it you can feel the tingling in your throat you know that feeling uh, it's much more dense in flavor uh, than broth so i'm gonna wait until this boils i'll show you the final product i just want to you know go again uh, talk about the fundamentals because this is really the foundation without this you know the whole series will be very confusing
Number one, the water should be cold. Number two, Mary Poir. Number three, very minimum uh, spices and herbs. And number four, the most, most important ingredient is the bones. Uh, white stock, fish and chicken, raw. Brown stock, you know, we caramelize the bones, either veal, bone or cow, or you can use chicken, but what's, you know, that'll be useless. But we'll add them in cold water as well. Boiling, no, do not boil them. We want to simmer them. So I'm gonna show you the final product. Um, do not go away. We still have the topic of uh, Ibn Qayyim, medicine of the Prophet, inshallah, when we come back. So stay with us. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> You know, the chicken stock has been uh, boiling for approximately three and a half hours. The veal or the lamb bones stock, the brown stock, uh, I'm going to leave it for another three hours, approximately six hours. How do we know? Uh, technically, when the bones start to break. Now, this is an example of a simmer. A simmer, you don't want to boil it and you don't want to make it dead and not active. It should have some movement in it, as you can see. So you don't want to, you don't want it to boil like this. This is boiling and of course you don't want it to be completely dead as if it's there is no heat so let me show you the difference between the white stock and the brown stock all right don't worry about the impurities we're going to go ahead and filter this out but this is an example of a chicken white stock as you can see it is uh, pretty clear so you know when we make a clear soup you know the the cut of the vegetable is very important because everything is transparent you can see everything through all right so let's go ahead and show you the brown stock the brown stock i'm still working on it it needs more time of course but as you can see it's a little bit more on the darker side it is relatively brown but not very 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 brown as you can see okay so this is how it looks on a close-up now I'm gonna go ahead and move this to a container. Now when we move this to a container, you know it's very easy, especially if you have access to a commercial kitchen, which I do. I can just dump everything in a, the biggest container that I have like this. But not, not everyone have a big container like this. And usually the biggest container you have is the containers or the pots that you're making is stock out of. So uh, my suggestion is you get the next biggest thing that you have in your kitchen so i'll just use something that is glass we'll use a strainer and uh, we can do this either slowly or you can dump the whole thing so this you put this in the refrigerator make sure you cool it down don't worry about warming up everything else in the fridge there's no other choices and make sure you do not use plastic or you don't put plastic bottles ice bottles some people on tv do that uh, you know there are chemical reaction it happens when you add hot liquid with plastics you don't know what the water is extracting from from the bottles now after you have cooled down the stock then you can remove it and transfer it to a plastic container and if you can take a look a closer look you will see that a layer of chicken fat will be on top of your cold stock you can go ahead and remove that that is not stock but it's very good stuff you can you can use it for other application maybe frying eggs or something you can add that it'll be delicious trust me when you take a closer look at your stock it should be a little bit like a little bit like jello like this as you can see and uh, if, if it doesn't look like this is very if it's very smooth what you can do you can put it back um, you know reduce it down let it boil uh, reduce it maybe one fourth or one third and then cool it down it should look like this now this will survive in your fridge for three days it will get sour and since it doesn't have any salt it might go bad as well so what you can do is if you're not going to use this go ahead and put them in zip bags and you can freeze them or you can put them in containers like this you can freeze this uh, for 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 the future you know you always can use stock for something and you will see throughout this series that we're going to use stock for almost every dish that we're going to do for every soup uh, you can use it for sauces you can you know the question always i ask myself and ask everyone who's watching why do you want to cook in a flavorless liquid use stock broth or something with flavor 
with your food. Now I'm going to go ahead and move uh, to the table and we'll go ahead and read what Ibn al-Qayyim said about the topic of al-Tharid or stop. <laughs>